Right folks, what I'm attempting to do is to change the master, clutch master cylinder on a TD4 Freeland Series 1. Repl bought a replacement, doesn't have the sliding collar to release it from the clutch housing. Bit stumped, can't get it out. Don't want to take the gearbox out at this stage. So, my brain thought, use the original hose and just disconnect it from the bottom of the cylinder. This one comes out, I've already done it, but I'm going to take, not take it out again, just so I can keep it clean. If it matches up with this one, hopefully all will be good. See you in a minute. Moment of truth guys, taking it out, and as you can see, using one hand, I'll film it, they look the same to me. So, let's see if they all fit. So as you can see, everything seems to fit. All I need to do now is pop this little roll pin in through the hole. I might have to put my finger down and get the hammer out. One second. Okay, the roll pin is now in. And this one came with a little split pin just to keep things in place. Like so. Filming with one hand and working isn't easy. But everything seems to be okay. And this is a double check. I'm going to put the new hose in the old one just to make sure that fits. And yes, it does fit. This is the old one. Been made of plastic as opposed to that one, which is cast alley. Which is good. And those all the tools are used. I can't believe that's gone so well. Let's wait for disaster trying to bleed it. Okay, catch you later. Another little hack for you people, just a little because of its access. Right under there. I'm using a I've got my thumb over the mic has all been cleaned out so you people don't go screaming, screaming at me for not mixing fluids perfectly cleaned out washed thoroughly disinfected and degreased this will then fit so you can let me see that in there just squeeze a small amount in and bring it out Very handy to have. 